Hey guys, how are you going? And uh, welcome back to another episode of this Cricket 19 career mode. In today's episode, we are playing the second Ashes test at Manuka Oval. But uh, before we get stuck into it, let's take a look at the Truth 22 headlines. And welcome to the 34th edition of the Truth 22. With the main headline reading, the fortress still stands at the Gabba. That is thanks to the YouTube commenter Abhishek Roy. So welcome to the newsroom, lad. And yeah, an absolute hiding, to be fair. A huge innings victory, and then that follows on to the next headline, Mammoth of Victory puts Australia 1-0 up, and uh, that's exactly where they want to be, trying to uh, get these ashes back from England. And moving on to the right hand side here with the caption reading, Barmy Army booking flights home, that is thanks to the YouTube commenter Ross Newman, so welcome to the newsroom lad, and I have heard whispers, there have been rumblings that a couple of the Barmy Army faithful have uh, actually booked at home, and I don't blame them. I mean, surely it can't get any worse from here, but uh, after that poor showing, um, some of the fans have decided to uh, leave Australia. And one of the main headlines coming out of the Truth 22 today is the caption reading, where to now for England? That is a great question. I'm not exactly sure where they should be going. I mean, the only, uh, the only way is up, really. They can't get any worse than what they've just done. But, uh, I mean, first of all, they need to change the team. They haven't changed the team in years. They've only been using four bowlers. And uh, it's really uh, proved pretty crucial for them. But uh, they're going to have to bounce back big time pretty quickly as well for the next test match at Manuka Oval, uh, which is also a day-night test match. So exciting times ahead. But uh, that'll be it for today's edition of the Tube for 22. Always a fantastic publication, the Tube for 22. And now let's head down to the toss here at Manuka Oval. Looking at the sides, we have gone unchanged, I believe. England as well have also, unfortunately, gone unchanged. That is not... Uh, not too flash when you hit 700 against them in the first match. You'd think they'll make some changes or try something, but apparently not. Anyway, this is a day-night test match. This is a grassy pitch. Be interesting to see what we do if we win the toss. I'm heading towards having a bowl first, potentially, just to make the most of these conditions, even though they don't mean shit in uh, this game. England have won the toss, though, so it's out of our hands. Joseph Root, what are your thoughts? Medium grassy pitch. Wouldn't want to bowl again first, would you? Nope, they have chosen to bat this time. Don't blame them. Here we go. We are inserting ourselves into this uh, test match. 20.87 the average. 213 wickets. England 3 for 33. Struggling up a storm as per. Tazzle 4 off 2. And straight away, that was 140Ks. That was, it wasn't supposed to be slow, but it turned out to be. I mean, a screen pitch probably not going to aid the uh, pace here. Let's see if we can get a little edge though. Here we go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to bring up the slips in the uh, keeper because I don't think it's going to carry too much. That was 157 Ks. It was. I didn't get around the chest region for sure. But if we uh, keep if we keep him up, get some cutters going, get one to jag away, pick up a little wicket, then that'll be a good start. Oh, see that's not too bad. Now that bodes well. Can we get one to move even more and pick up a little edge? There we go. He's still driving after that shot. He is. Uh, He's playing with fire here. I mean, these blokes, 3 for 33, it's just not a great start, is it? They've won it every, every time. Well, this match and the one before, uh, they've both chosen, uh, they've called correctly. And it looks like it's backfired, the decision that Joe's had. So hopefully we can uh, make them pay. Oh, there we go. It's driven. They're going for it, are they? Direct hit. No, it would have been close though, but a uh, single to round out the over. We've been brought back on, well we brought ourselves back on, um, we did have a two over spell. Seven for 60, England, I'm sorry, but what is going on in that English camp? Bohannon one off 10, Archer seven off 20, they've chosen to bat, it is a green seamer. Although I guess they didn't want to bowl, otherwise they might have got another 700 hit on them, hit off them. But now this just, I don't know. Real cause for concern. Is there going to be a little... No, I was thinking maybe a run out opportunity. Into our fourth over here. None for five. England seven for 66. Let's get the ball to talk. Oh, it is moving a bit off the deck. Oh, what are you doing? What are they doing? I am flabbergasted is one word that comes to mind. Don't know what's going on. Archer eight of 29. Well left. Good areas. Now we're just going to go a bit straighter just to make him play at it. And get a little nibble. Oh, okay. Yep, go for that one. It's moving a bit off the deck. I mean, as you'd expect with the it being a green seamer. But it looks like we're going to be getting the worst of the conditions at night time. Um, under the light, it's going to be interesting to see how we go. Oh, inside edge. 
First edge we've seen all day, and it's got to go down to uh, fine leg. It's gone four. It's unfortunate for us, although runs doesn't don't seem to be an issue too much. Being seven down for seventy six, just ruins the figures more than anything. Goes back to leaving it. Eight down now. Joffre has departed. Bahannon's still out there. Fisher the new man. Oh yes, go go wafting, mate. So we've just wrapped up the first session. Destructive uh, little bowling session there, and now we're back. Eight for eighty. About to start the uh, second before it gets dark. Oh, that is a good area. Pretty pretty bloody quick too. I don't think I might actually just try and put one on the legs. See if he plays all around it with the pace. Hopefully, beats them all ends up. Catch it. Back flick. Ooh. 9 for 85 here. Fisher and Miles. Jesus, this has been a pathetic affair here. Not going to lie. Oh, that is pathetic bowling. Mate, just put it on the Sturks at 155Ks and clean bowling. How hard is it for you, mate? Come on, the wickets. Fisher, 3 for 27. Can we roll them for under 100 here? Oh, he was very confident where his off stump was there. And here we go. All out. We're coming out to bat. Averaging just over 50. Three for two, three, three. Oh my lord. Three for two, three, five. Lead by one, four, three. We did bump ourselves into the, uh, up the top of it to number five. But let's take a look at the, the English innings. 92 all out. Three wickets to Rogers, two to Richardson, two to Sutherland. Uh, th three run outs in there. We got one apparently. There we go. And now Harris 115, not out. Winter 51. Duck Rupikowski 67 for short. And Hazlett. Now, has Hazlett always been in the side? I thought... Oh, who who would he have been in there for? Stand by. Apparently he was in the side for the first test match. It goes to much. It goes to show how much uh, I uh, I remember, especially having uh, selected him. Probably should have known that. And that is going to be a single. We waited on that very. I mean, we should have taken off straight away, but we didn't, and we still managed to get one one uh, one run pretty easily, which is nice. So now four for two for one. Harris departs. The man of the moment, uh, Heaslet, out to the crease. So. Uh, be interesting to see. I mean, they're only going to be using the four bowlers again, surely. I can't see them. I mean, they've got the same team, so I can't see them bowling any part-timers. I don't know why not. It's just the AI being silly, and we're going to take a single there. It's also just the start of day two as well, so we've managed to miss the nighttime batting session, which I'm pretty stoked about. I don't want to be, uh, be facing Jofra under the lights for sure. I also kept forgetting to uh, change my bat, so uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments as well. Uh, to go with the uh, 2 for 22 headline, make sure you put down a bat suggestion and I'll take a look. 4 for 250, what would be a good lead? It's currently 158. So it is uh, quite large already. It's already more than they uh, more than they meant first, but surely they can't go that poorly again. Oh, straight drive, how are you? Cracking shot. It hardly ever worked because it normally gets stopped by the bowler. Well, we're going to pick up 3 there. They're going to pat back, they are. We actually might run 4 there. Oh, shit. Oh, good dive there, Hazlet. Well, bold. Barmy army in full flight. Good delivery. It's all happening here at the Monica Oval. 7 off at 12. Miles uh, too far. Can he get one for the Barmy army? Or we can just drive one. Try to uh, shut them up a bit. What a shot. Whack. Another lovely drive there. And we'll pick up another boundary. Oh, shot. Is it, going to, it is going to go for four. I just, the crowd just didn't want a bar of it. No, they start with the polite clapping. Don't know what the field was doing. He was, um, I mean, it was right there. It just didn't want a bar of bending down and picking it up. Don't blame him. Probably uh, sick of playing cricket at the moment. And that is a blue ball that we've missed out on. I don't think it went for four. We will scramble back for a third. And it puts uh, Australia on to 272 for four. Oh, it's edged. Oh, he's caught it. He's taking the piss. The footwork. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. We're all just flying along as well. That's our first real uh, hiccup, and we've paid dearly. Great grab from the new keeper, Lindsay. We're for 22 of 23. is a failure if ever I saw one. Far out. Oh well, let's see how the lower, middle to lower order gets on. He's look getting a ton maybe, yes. Rogers. Okay, now it's night time and England are batting and it's cause for concern for them. As uh, we had average still just under 21, just. 
Let's take a look at the scorecard and see what we ended up with. 490 with Hazel at top scoring 130. Harris 115. Short 67. Rogers 69. Once again, four balls used. And now they trail by 378 runs to avoid an innings loss. And it's that man Holden, a middle six teammate who we haven't played for in a long time on strike. Oliver Popington at the crease, 15 or 16 off 20. He is flying. There we go. Keep driving, mate. Eventually you'll schnick off. God. Oh, Thought he edged it. It looked like he had moved in the first slip quarter and then he was starting to walk. It's just deviated off the uh, the pitch quite a bit. Fire out. Yeah, well, we continue. Oh, mate. Oliver. Right there. Yes. Overthrows. Ooh. See, they can run when that happens, but when we try that, it doesn't want to bar of us letting it. So... Can't have it uh, one way, not the other. Catch it. Oh, you ripper. Fucking get up. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it when you get a little slip catch. Just makes it all worthwhile. Fuck me. Get around it. That pinged. It wasn't rotating at all. Good grab there from... Was that Rogers? He's been whacked in the slips there after bowling a lot of overs. And Maximus departs with 13. England's first wicket has uh, has fallen. And that man, Joe Root, walking out to the crease. Can we snaffle him as well? I reckon we're on here to take a little bag of wickets. And we'll uh, get our second by getting Joe Root. Oh, mate, they love driving it on this pitch. Yep. Oh, hello, Inside Edge, you bastard. Oh, uh, that's Bob. Let's go for an off-cutter here. One for seven off six and a half. We are bowling quite nicely. Got him. There we go. The cutter's worked a treat. Back of a length. Wasn't there to play through the offside because it uh, the jagged in obviously and it was a bit too straight for him. And a nice little outside edge there, quite thick. And uh, unfortunately, Oliver Popington has departed for 30. We picked up our second and English's second wicket. Um, yeah, let's uh, get around it. English's second wicket. Did that make sense? I feel like that was a very poor English. Um, anyway, Ted is all the new man. And now Joe a Root, 15 of 24, has a huge weight on his shoulders here as we're bowling the last of the seventh. They just love to drive. Three for 64. Looks like uh, Joe Root's gone. Oh no. Just couldn't, couldn't get it done. What are they doing here? Why are they trying to be cheeky and run when it's gone to this slip? This could be two innings wins in a row. Surely not. I wonder if that's been done in Ashes before. Surely the first two games, someone's won by an innings. More both teams. Must have been done before, surely. Okay, we're back. New session, new day. Two for eight of eight with three maidens. Been fantastic. This lighting is all sorts of wrong, but anyway. Nice little partnership here between James and Tattersall. We're going to need a few more as they still trail by 274 here at Monica. Catch up. Another edge for four. If only I could put another person in there, I absolutely would. Would they have gone to a gully? Mm, actually, I might actually even make this even more aggressive. So if I put that there, I don't know, I think he's going to be in front of him. Let's give it a go. Oh no, I, uh, I might, have gone th might have gone through. Like through the gap. I don't know. Okay, we're back here. 11 overs, 4 maidens, 2 for 12. England 5 down. 2 for 5. Moore's 28, Lindsay 10. Both uh, have kept for England. Can we get these wicket keepers out? Oh, fucking right, O'Moores. He is an aggressive uh, man, and uh, it's a great shot. Okay, let's try a cutter. Last time we bowled one, we got a wicket. Don't know why I hadn't bowled one earlier. Well, that's the ticket. We just need to keep bowling these cutters. It's a uh, jag the other way here. Oh, fuck me. That is jagged a mile. Another inside edge. Lindsay, mate. It's going to be four as well. Going to go real wide here and make the ball talk. Hopefully it's too much for him. Last ball of the 14th. Nah. Didn't uh, bolt it straight enough. Okay, brought ourselves back on just to clean up the tail here. Two for 26 and nine down for 358. Can we win bind innings? I'm just going to bowl on the legs to Moore's trying to get him to get one for a cheeky single to bring Miles on strike. 
Not that time. Last ball of the over. I'm going to bowl straight because if he gets a single, then it's fine for the other bowler. Thinking about the team here. Oh, how's that? It's missing leg for sure. There we go. Jai Richardson cleans it up. And we've won the second Ashes match again by an innings. What a absolute hiding. And we go 2 0 up in the series. So, man of the match, Sutherland. Okay. For his 3 for 68 and 2 for 8. Do you do anything with the bat? Not sure. But we'll take a look at the. Uh, the stats for us, none for 20 of 10 uh, with the ball in the first dig. Uh, Rogers definitely a top bowler there. Uh, with a bat, we made 22 of 23. Sullivan, he only made 17. I don't know why he got man of the match. I would have given it to maybe Heaslet. Um, and then, look at that. Wickets are shared between the uh, Sutherland and Stoneman. Good middle order there. Stoneman, 3 for 102. We picked up 2 for 27. Richardson, 2 for... Rogers got pumped. Interesting. Oh, well. That's... Uh, Turn all in the uh, series. So that will be it for today's episode. Next up, we're playing, uh, once again, the third test match. We're playing at Blunson Arena, actually. Let's take a look at some stats while we're here. Um, top of the runs, short 289. He's lit 218. We are tied with Moores with 152. Look at the bowling, Rogers 11, Fisher 9, 6 for Richardson, Sutherland, and us at uh, 25. Not too bad, not too bad. Anyway, uh, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe. If you're feeling up to it, leave a comment down below. Always appreciate reading those. But uh, until then, take it easy.